Gyur, yes. Dugu Gyur uh, is an assistant professor in marketing at Chag University in Turkey. Her research interests are related to digital marketing, metaverse marketing, and sustainable cons uh, consumption. And the presentation she will be delivering today is entitled Entrepreneurship and Marketing Education in the Metaverse, Unlocking the Potential for Innovative Learning Environments. Okay, Dr. Gear, you have the floor. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for giving opportunity to present our study here. And I wish everyone a fruitful day. I would like to share with my presentation with you. Yes. So... So today, uh, I would like to present you our study, which is based on uh, the technological innovation adaptation. Uh, just a second. Um, so uh, the technological innovation used in learning environments is very important uh, to improve the higher uh, education standards. So our study uh, uses the analysis of an entrepreneurship course, which is a meta-entrepreneurship course. Uh, which is conducted in our business school. Uh, and the, courses, uh, the course takes place in the Metaverse platforms. And in my presentation, I will briefly talk about the transformation of higher education uh, towards technology adaptation. And uh, the Meta Entrepreneurship course is an example of experiential learning. So uh, I will shortly discuss the importance of experiential learning and how it evolved into sustainable and smart education recently. So... Uh, the purpose of our study, uh, the main pur purpose is to show that uh, the technology can be harnessed uh, to create a more interactive, real life simulating and skill generating way for education. So, and this can happen in uh, experiential learning uh, using the metaverse platforms. And our study uh, attempts to draw attention towards the uh, usage of uh, adapting innovations such as AR, VR, and extended reality to education, uh, which we know that will lead to emergence and development of new teaching methods. So uh, also we would like to highlight that these innovations are also contributing to transformation of uh, education systems while adapting the principles of sustainability and smart education. Uh, so we also offer a new learning space for our students with this course. Uh, which offers inclusivity, uh, accessibility, and sustainability too. And what we aim is, uh, by the end of the course, uh, we would uh, see the evaluations of our students relevant uh, to their experience and the learning outcomes of the course, and how learning in metaverse platforms differ from physical learning environments. So, and also we will evaluate how simulating entrepreneurship in metaverse platforms will motivate them towards real life entrepreneurship. So uh, we know that the higher education involves through time, information is available, available everywhere. Uh, and the purpose of education is no more acquiring knowledge, but it's more about uh, gaining skills, uh, learning different disciplines and uh, improving our, our capabilities. So uh, as well as knowledge, of course. And another fact is that the individual learning patterns are differing right now. And uh, the learning systems should provide a uh, variable among uh, learners from the outset. And um, we also know that uh, there is a need to replace the traditional learning methods. And uh, especially particularly in management and marketing, we see that uh, there is a growing agreement uh, on the company side that the companies also are looking for individuals who can take holistical views we can adapt to different scenarios, find practical solutions to different problems. Uh, so uh, practical experience and teamwork skills are skills are very important. And with the meta-entrepreneurship course, meta -entrepreneurship course that we have already designed, we have accomplished to achieve this. Uh, and we also know that students now uh, possess a disinterest towards uh, the traditional learning methods. So uh, this, these all, when come together, they just uh, show us the need for uh, to explore new approaches in education. Um, so for our literature review, I would like to first of all, talk about the technology evolving and technology adaptation in learning environments. So we know that uh, the new and emerging technologies are uh, rethinking uh, of teaching and uh, 
learning, so as well as acting as uh, the catalyst for transformation and innovation. On the left hand side in figure one, you can see that there are stages of uh, technology integration in education. The first stages are the ones uh, that help education to evolve, meaning uh, technology makes advances towards a more digitally rich learning environment in the first, in the first three stages. Uh, whereas the higher education institutes that look for a more holistical change are, are looking through transformation and uh, they benefit from technology for transforming their learning environments. Uh, and on the right hand side, you can see another figure where we see the first order innovations and the second order ones. So the uh, first order innovations were like logs, social networking sites, uh, interactive whiteboards, web apps. Uh, but now uh, we have been for the last couple of years talking about the second order innovations, augmented reality simulation, digital games, uh, programming applications. Uh, so we know that things have changed and these technologies are gaining attention and uh, there are disruptive ones. So uh, we will see the increase of the AR, VR and extended reality usage in uh, education uh, more in the upcoming years. So for um, innovative learning spaces for experiential learning, we know that students can learn from the experiences. Uh, John Devey uh, discussed the importance of learning by doing, whereas while uh, Wolf and Brian use the term experience-based learning in uh, the literature, which form the base of experiential learning. And Kolb also is the one uh, who has uh, created the experiential learning cycle. So uh, Cobb's model explains us the general natural learning approach of humans uh, to transfer it to educational background. So here we can see in the cycle that it starts with the concrete experience, uh, which is the experience we have, uh, and it's followed by the observations and reflections in the second stage. Uh, so uh, in the third stage, the data are analyzed uh, during the formation of abstract conceptually, conceptualization and the concept is developed, is assessed in the fourth stage with implementation and application to a new situation. And uh, by experiential learning, we construct different learning stages of individuals uh, and we offer uh, different support at different stages by designing a tailored specific uh, course content and environment. And this is especially what we do for this mental entrepreneurship course uh, this semester. So while talking about uh, technology, technology adaptation, we also see the transformation of education to sustainable education. Uh, we know that technology plays an important role for fostering skills and competencies uh, to our social awareness. Um, so sustainability is very important. Uh, working together to build new foundations for a sustainable future is very important. And uh, we cannot uh, just discriminate any of the technologies or improvements we have in education from sustainability, because we know that sustainability is in our lives. It's a long-term development uh, process, and it has three interconnected dimensions, which are environment, society, and economy. So in education, sustainability develops two ways. So education for sustainability is one uh, in which we focus uh, on environmental sustainability uh, through educational practices. And the second one is sustainability of education, uh, which focuses on implementation of sustainable forms of uh, successful practices through educational developments, leadership and innovation. So in our study, we emphasize that technology involvement can contribute to sustainable uh, development, support higher education, uh, and in transition towards uh, aligning with the goals of UN for 2030 with the 17 SDGs. And uh, we know that uh, creating a unique uh, landscape for uh, learning is very important. Uh, because uh, we know that the usage of metaverse platforms offers us equality and accessibility. So uh, this is a technology-driven learning environment, which we can find it all. Uh, so this is why uh, we adapted our classes um, in most of our marketing and management classes in our university to metaverse platforms. So um, what we have done so far in Cha University is that we've been teaching in metaverse platforms. We use, by the way, Second Life as the metaverse platform. Uh, so uh, we started uh, with a virtual worlds course and we then continued with a marketing and sustainability course. And this semester, we built a new course on entrepreneurship, which is the metaverse entrepreneurship course. 
So um, for this one, we've been uh, using these courses uh, since 2019 and all of them have different content and themes. Uh, and the last one, Metaverse Entrepreneurship course, is especially one that uh, we have managed to simulate real life entrepreneurship in. So uh, to briefly discuss what Metaverse is and how we benefit from it, uh, we know that uh, the Metaverse is a virtual shared space uh, that is created by the convergence of real uh, physical and virtual reality. So it is a digital universe uh, that consists of interconnected uh, virtual environments where users can interact with each other and with the computer generated items there. So uh, Metaverse has changed the way uh, we interact or transact uh, but it's also changing changing the way we think about sustainability. So it's, it's a, it has a more uh, it's a, it has a, a potential to create a more equitable and sustainable world. So uh, in these platforms, there are communities uh, that manage to uh, establish uh, promoting sustainable practices. Uh, they discuss accessibility issues. They foster inclusion. Uh, so uh, these communities often consist of individuals who are share common interests, uh, goals and concerns related to sustainability, uh, inclusivity and accessibility. And in our case, we have been working with these communities too. And we offered our students a chance to meet with them and learn, uh, their, learn from their experiences. So uh, in our Metaverse course, uh, we use Second Life, as I said before. So this is where this is a virtual world and we have our own avatars and students have their own avatars and uh, we conduct lessons in Second Life platform. So we interact uh, with each other with our avatars and uh, in the virtual spaces that are built in the Second Life platform. Now, I would like to also show you our virtual campus here in, uh, in Cha. Um, So this is a digital twin of our uh, physical campus at Turkey. Uh, so we started uh, with the virtual campus, first of all. So you can see here uh, all our students and our faculty here. Uh, so uh, we conduct the classes here and there are places up above that you can use too. And we teleport to other destinations. Uh, we visit the marketplace, we go to other communities, islands, and there we meet with them. We take, We make our courses there. Uh, so it gives a, a real a good experience to see this world. So and other pictures of our, for example, faculty here. Uh, so uh, these are us. So we are five people in our faculty teaching the Metaverse courses together. And actually we are four and we have Saitaram. He is from America. Uh, he is a system engineer and uh, he's been also working with us, co-lecturing with us. So this also world, this world offers us the opportunity to, to meet with other people. And uh, they, are, they come as visitors or we organize co-lecture together in the classes. Some pictures of other classes we have. So we had other couple of visitors here. Uh, they talk about different subjects like metal literacy for digital citizens. So we have very different uh, teams for each talk. Uh, so as you can see, we have a sustainability goals uh, place corner in our uh, virtual campus where we talk about sustainability a lot in our sessions. Um, also, um, about the uh, entrepreneurship part, so uh, we're not only conducting lessons in Metaverse, but uh, these students have a chance to uh, actually see how skills, concepts, and innovations can be transferred between virtual platforms like Second Life and the real business world. Um, so uh, they have already uh, built their virtual products for the semester in this course. Uh, and they are working on their business plans. They are working on their marketing campaign plans. Uh, so, uh, and their products uh, are expected to have sustainable features or inclusivity or accessibility features. Uh, and uh, during the courses, they uh, also learned about uh, two classes on scripting and building in this uh, world. So they each have helped them to become uh, more, uh, to improve their technical skills in Second Life. So uh, it is uh, the, the world we use here, the second life is both the material and the medium actually for giving our students an immersive learning environment. So uh, by this way, they can uh, understand uh, all the aspects of meta entrepreneurship in a virtual setting.
So I will visit to different communities, different islands here, some pictures of them. So uh, there are different residents in uh, SL Second Life. So uh, there are different community members. There are entrepreneurs, students and faculty professionals from all around the world. So interacting with all these people is an important advantage of being in Second Life. So we have designed courses where not only our faculty and students uh, come together, but we also collaborate and co-teach with uh, other universities abroad. So for our other courses, we have a, a co-lecturing class where we jointly make the class with TUD. So our students and TUD students come together at the classes for the virtual world part, which, has, which we have been teaching since 2019. Uh, so there we share the knowledge, we share experience with each other. Uh, so it makes our classes more fruitful. So we mostly use the uh, metaverse education for immersive learning, global collaboration, making spaces for conversational learning, simulation of real life and entrepreneurship there. So we also do experiential learning. There is accessibility. We promote ethical practices and environmental awareness is very important. And this is where we can make a difference. So for our study, we have an uh, ongoing research, actually. So we will be using a qualitative research methodology. And you, at the end of the semester, uh, which is close, uh, our students will involve student feedbacks. Uh, we will, will give their feedbacks, and we will receive by the, which we will receive by the end of the semester. And we will be conducting in-depth interviews with them in the world, avatar to avatar in Second Life. Uh, so the data will be collected and be analyzed through the content analysis and results will be published uh, within our paper. So this is all for me. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you very much for presenting. Yes. So it's been real pleasure just to listen to you.